okay uh, just now we done with the finally block right this is my finally block code just now we done so now remaining thing is what a uh, rise keyword a uh, comment rise keyword uh, rise keyword generally to raise an exception uh, generally for the user defined exception see the project level we have the predefined exceptions and what a uh, user defined exceptions right see you have the user exceptions hmm next one is what a uh, predefined exceptions right what are the predefined exceptions like type error generally we are using the name is called exception but the point is called errors actually we have the arithmetic error uh, zero digit error type error these are the points predefined coming to user defined so you can create your own exception right invalid age error like this see by using raise keyword uh, we can raise predefined exceptions and we can raise user defined exceptions both okay for example raise uh, you can raise the name error name error is a predefined exception see predefined means what it is already have some fixed meaning right internal meaning it is having some fixed meaning internal meaning raise name error uh, name is not good name is what uh, not good see observe one point here we are raising name error name is a predefined error or user defined error predefined error name is not good this is a predefined message or user defined message pretty user defined message right good see by using raise keyword we can raise the predefined exceptions and we can raise the user defined exception but don't raise the predefined exceptions because the predefined exceptions already contains a fixed meaning right sir no yeah the predefined exceptions already contains some fixed meaning don't raise an uh, predefined exception simply user defined exception means what you guys must raise it right simply you can go for the raise uh, hmm, invalid he tell me invalid uh, is error right invalid is error simply here uh, as is not good as is what uh, not good right good see by using a raise keyword we can raise the predefined exception with predef user defined predefined exception and we can raise user defined exception with some messages but which one is raising the raising is recommended predefined exception raising or user defined exception raising is recommended come on yaar which one is recommended predefined is recommended or user defined recommended hmm you user defined recommended right the reason is what predefined exceptions already contain some fixed meaning see we have arithmetic error arithmetic error means generally what you are expecting some division by zero module right but name is not good means that is recommended or not recommended here not recommended hmm this is called what arithmetic error clear so finally we are decided by using raise keyword you can raise predefined exceptions we can raise user defined exceptions don't focus on predefined exception because those already contain some fixed meaning then simply how to focus on what a user defined exception what is user defined exception here invalid is error right that's it see let me go for the first predefined not recommended case they can come with the user defined hmm good see in the try block the try block here simply could like raise raise simply can write the name error raise name error otherwise you know arithmetic error right i would like to raise that error arithmetic a r i t h m i t a c arithmetic error okay so raise arithmetic error uh not good process i have written some predefined message right not good process you can write the accept block mm. e x e p t accept block hmm. tell me your accept block what the message you will write uh, what the message you want accept um, which exception you want write here arithmetic error right accept uh, arithmetic error as a reference variable right good simply you can write the print message print here exception equal to tell me here comma e comma e na good comma e that's it simply run this code you will get the message is what exception what the exception not good process right but this approach is recommended or not recommended raising the predefined errors are recommended or not recommended not recommended right why the predefined exception means we already some fixed with the predefined messages right that reason it is not recommended i hope you will get some clarity right okay so don't go with the predefined exception then simply can go with the user defined okay i have some example in my material otherwise you can go with my website radhanit.com so i hope you guys can understand this example you can please check check this one tell me if you are unable to understand i'll explain 
See, after this much explanation, still you are unable to understand this example. Khatam. Hmm? I feel angry. Sir, no, yaar. Good. Tell me in the try block, I called status method by passing the age. Hmm? So, age I am passing here. If you want, you can take the age variable here. Here also you can pass the age variable. You can take any name, no problem. Age variable. If A is less than 0, I would like to raise value error. Rising value error recommended or not recommended? Not recommended. Why? That is a predefined error. Only post integers are allowed. Some messages are rated. My own message. If A is greater than 22, eligible for marriage. Else, not eligible for marriage. Try after some time. Then finally, block will be executed. Hmm? Good. So if you want, let me run this code. I hope you guys are okay with this code, right? Uh, you can check this code run this code once it is asking age i entered age is uh, 12 years it's saying simply not eligible try, uh, not eligible for marriage try after some time right simply run this code with uh, with uh, what 45 years eligible for marriage finally block right good simply write this code with negative value 45 minus 45 right minus 45 means what rise which are raised uh, Value error, right? Value error means what? This error raised, obviously. Yes or no? See, the try block, we call this method. Observe carefully. Try block, we call this method. When we call this method, this method raise which error here? Value error, right? This method raise value error means obviously normal termination, abnormal termination. Abnormal termination, right? Before abnormal termination, finally block. Observe carefully. See, in the try block, we call status method. Status method given which error? Value error. To handle that value error, if you want to get the normal termination, here you can write the accept block. You can write what a accept block. Accept of which error we have to see in the try block. We are calling which method? Status method. Status method is raising which error? Value error. That is the reason. Can you please handle the value error here. And handle the value error. What the, how do you handle? Printer. Hmm. Enter valid data. Some message you can write. Simply now run it. Now the same 45 entered, minus 45. Here minus 40 in the try block I call that function. When we call that function, that function returns which were which value here value error right? If the function returns value error, then tell me the function returns what value error? Then we are holding that error or not? Then it's showing error message what enter valid data and finally block. See previously we don't have except block. We are calling the status function. The status function raising value error, value error is showing. Now, in this case, I written the accept block. In the try block, it throws an exception, it raising an exception. The corresponding accept block will be executed, right? That's it. Clear? Huh? Hmm? That's all about whatever. Rising which error here? These are predefined errors. Recommended or not recommended here? Not recommended. Then why what the use of uh, rise keyword for the user defined exceptions, right? Then simply you can go for the customization. Coming to the customization, see we can create the user defined exception in two ways. One is you can go with the negative age exception, extends runtime error. Otherwise, you can go for the root class exception class also. Sir, no yeah? exception. What error message here? Negative age exception. This is called constructor. If you want this concept, you can go with the my class concept. What is the constructor syntax? Underscore, underscore init, underscore, underscore, right? To represent this constructor is belongs to this class, you have to go for the self keyword, self age. Self age. Then convert this local. This is this is local value, right? Convert this local to global value. Self dot is equal to age. Self is nothing but what? Global value, right? That's it. See, we are calling the superclass in it. See, by passing your data, can please call the superclass. So, what is the superclass here? Exception class, right? That's it. See, total how many ways are there to create your uh, exceptions? One is extends runtime error. Here, you can check my code once. Hey, just you can pause it, you can check my material also, no problem. Hmm? Good. This is the last example regarding exception handling. So, you are in a position to understand these all examples. Okay. Good. Now you can check it. I am creating two young exception. I am creating next one is what? Two old exceptions. How many exceptions I created here? Two exceptions. I, I, I am passing age. If A is less than 80, two young exception you can write. Please wait some time. You can you will find get best match soon, right? Like that. If A is greater than 65, 
hmm. two old exception right rising some exception that's it simply you can run this code here hmm. come on here yeah. different examples that's it enter every 12 years two ing exception right simply you can run this code once again hmm. next one is what uh? so 67 years two old two old exception right otherwise you can enter the in between the 34 you will get the mass student details right that's it i hope you'll get some clarity right i am creating two exceptions two young exception and two old exception i am taking a age if a is less than 18 arise young exception a is greater than 65 old exception otherwise if in, if everything is okay else block what else block we'll get the match details soon right like that so to rise and use a defined exception we are generally basically are going for which keyword here rise keyword right that's it so this is the one way extending exception class right what a second way here extending runtime error runtime error you can check it here once so i created my own exception what is the exception here negative age exception right i am passing the age value as usual here I am rising if less than 0 I am rising what a negative age exception only positive integers are allowed right sir no yeah. see this is the previously I done with the hmm, value error the same code now I am done with the predefined user defined exception what is the user defined exception negative age exception right yes or no negative age exception rise negative age exception or not only which integers are only positive integers are allowed i hope clear right hmm? see in the try block we are calling status simply try to understand the code that's it in the try block we are trying to call status method but status method is rising which, which exception negative age exception then accept block has negative age exception right only some positive integer. this code will be executed run this code if you want enter your age i entered age is what 12 years so you'll get not eligible for marriage next one is what enter your age minus 78 so only positive integers are allowed right it means what is the code here this accept block is executing or not sir no here hmm? that's it rise negative age exception see see the only one point here inside the try block we are calling status function the status function rising negative age exception to handle that exception we are taking accept block negative age exception we are writing the code here that's the only one point you have to focus clear mm. this is called default accept right something is wrong some other message i hope you guys are okay with this exception ex explanation right that's all about your uh, exception handling concept in exception handling how many keywords we done total five keywords we done what are the five keywords try accept else finally and what rise yes or no yeah? next we can go for the word of predefined exceptions what are the pre see pre you omit as exceptions we have predefined exceptions and uh, user defined exceptions so predefined exception virtual vision will take care user defined exception we have to take care by using which keyword here a rise keyword by raising the exceptions right we by raising that exceptions are not that's it the right, points are clear so that's all about your exception handling hmm? good thank you guys uh, thanks for watching uh, can please subscribe to for more updates and uh, can please like and comment the video Sir, no, yeah, that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.